So if you think it's important to help your kid or your classroom discover what is unique about each and every one of them and see everybody else through that same lens, um, then start now. You don't need to wait. I made a video about 15 years ago called Trombone Player Wanted, which was basically we wanted to build a 15 minute video, six of them actually, so that managers could play something for their employees in the lunch break, which is great. I mean, I had a great time with it and I think uh, people really seem to enjoy it. Um, and then I got a call one day from a guy called uh, Donnie Fitzpatrick. And uh, Donnie uh, was a middle school teacher on Vancouver Island in British Columbia. And he called up and he said, uh, can I please have permission to use the first 15 minute video in my class of 11 year olds? And I said, I was busy. I was like, uh, sh sh sure, but although it's not for them, it's for grown ups. And he's like, don't worry about it. Uh, I just would like to really help some of the kids think about who they are because we have a lot of truancy problems in our school and then we have a lot of kids that, that don't finish school and um, a lot of kids doing some sort of at-risk teen behaviors and I think that video will really help. And I was like, God, re really? But okay, that's fine. Hung up the phone and then I forgot about it. About a year went by and then he calls back and he goes, I'm Donnie Fitzpatrick. I was the guy who wanted to use your video in, uh, in my middle school to help my kids. And I was like, oh, the penny dropped. I'm like, oh yeah, hi Donnie, what happened? Anyway, he goes on to describe how he had created a year long curriculum using that video as the core. And he invited me up to see it in action. And he took me into the classrooms where they taught the curriculum. And the classrooms, you have to imagine, they were filled from floor to ceiling with boxes. And Donnie goes, so we created a year-long program to help each child in our class um, find their strengths as an individual. Um, because so many of the kids don't stay in school because they don't think that they have any uniqueness that's valuable at all. No one's ever talked to them about it. So I decided to create a, a year-long curriculum about how each child could find their voice. How do you find your voice? Because if you have a voice, and it's a unique voice to you, then maybe you might, maybe you might think the school's actually useful in helping you to cultivate that voice and share that. And so, and so we gave everyone a box. So this is your voice box. This is your voice box. And for the rest of the year, we're gonna help you um, fill your voice box uh, with all the beautiful details about what makes you you. Not in necessarily in terms of your gender or your race or your, just in terms of the unique weirdness that, and wonderfulness that is you. And I said, well, how, how, did you, how did you do that? How did you start? And he said, well, we, um, we began by giving people, this is way back, this is before phones and stuff, but they gave them little flip cameras. Each kid a little flip camera, and they said, look, um, take the camera home with you, and just everybody in the class has got to do a little two-minute video answering this one question. When was the last time a day flew by? And we had every one of these kids come in and show their video and talk about it. And then over the course of the next few months, each child dug deeper and deeper and deeper into what other particular activities in life, in work, in school, that make them feel strong. And you ended up, he said, it was the most extraordinary thing as people's filters, where they looked at jocks, or they looked at nerds, or they looked at this gender or this race, and all those filters fell away as one child after another would stand up and tell such a beautifully unique, detailed story about which particular activities in their life made them feel strong. My point in sharing all of this is that you can start now. You could start with your kid and just ask her, when was the last time a day flew by? Don't intimidate her with like, what do you love? Like, who knows the answer to that question? When was the last time a day flew by? Which bit of your day yesterday whipped by? Which bit did you, like, those are really simple questions that your kid will know the answers to. Um, Donnie didn't have a budget. Donnie didn't have any technology that enabled him to measure the strengths of somebody else. Um, Donnie's not a psychometrician, but he's a teacher, and he had an impetus, and he started. And 8,000 kids are better off because of it. So if you think it's important to help your kid or your classroom discover what is unique about each and every one of them and see everybody else through that same lens, um, then start now. You don't need to wait.